Hey there and welcome to Afterwork. My name is Valentine and in this channel we talk about various data science topics that are important when you're starting out your data science career. If such topics interest you, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Alright, so let's get started with our topic of the day. The best data science certifications that you could undertake while you're starting out your data science learning journey. And in this video, we're going to be talking about three different um, data science certifications while providing a few tips on um, what you need to consider while, you know, um, looking at a particular, at any of those particular um, certifications. Um, um, so, yeah, um, we'll go through all of them and um, it's, it's up to you to see which, which of those certifications um, suit you best. Right, so let's get started with the first um, data science certification. So the first data science certification is the Applied Data Science course by FutureLearn. And this particular course allows you to, it enables you to um, get an understanding of what really the data science ecosystem entails. It develops a bit of your data science and data analytics skills. The program is two weeks long, which means you can be able to um, um, go through the concepts that are, you know, um, presented in the course in a relatively um, short period of time. Um, in terms of the topics, you're going to be going through um, just an overview of what, you know, the data science landscape entails. You will go through how to apply data visualization techniques to various data sets. Um, and a large chunk of the course will entail being able to perform modeling techniques such as classification, clustering, um, and as well as working with also, you know, um, still textual data and images using those particular data modeling techniques. In terms of benefits, in general, I would recommend this course if you would want to get a feel of whether data science is for you. Um, it would, you know, give you an idea of, um, uh, you know, what does, what kinds of problems do data scientists usually solve? Um, what kinds of tools are they going to be using? Um, it's also going to give you um, that whole learning experience in a short period of time, which um, two weeks isn't um, um, quite enough to fully develop in-depth expertise in data science, but this should, you know, be a good introductory course. Now, in terms of the cons, um, as mentioned, it's, you know, um, it's quite short, which means it may not cover um, everything pertaining to, say, data collection, data exploration, data cleaning, data preparation, data modeling, or data analysis, even model deployment. So this just gives you a taste of what um, data science entails. Um, the other caveat with this, um, yes, I had mentioned, you know, in this video that the idea, uh, I had mentioned that, you know, we're going to be talking about free courses. Yes, this course is quite, it's, it's free. You can get started without any, you know, um, paying anything. But at the very end, you, if you want to get now the certificate, you have to pay, I think it's about $74. Um, um, which, which if you are to compare with, you know, other boot camps um, is quite a small amount. But yeah, this is the only um, data science certification where you're going to be paying of the three that you're going to be cover, um, covering. But I would recommend if you want to just get a feel of what data science entails, um, just go for this course, Apply Data Science um, by FutureLearn. All right, so the second course that I would recommend is the course by John Hopkins. It's the Data Science Specialization course. And this particular course is hosted on um, Coursera. Um, it, it's, it's quite long in terms of the duration. So it takes about 11 months to go through. Um, that's considering you're going to be spending about seven hours a week. Um, it's beginner friendly, which means that you should be in a position to uh, understand most of the concepts without any external support that you you uh, most likely would be um, required to have um, if you you know maybe went for a boot camp where there's a lot of information being you know thrown to you here and there. Um, 
in terms of the structure, there are 10 different um, sub-courses um, which, which cover um, aspects of being able to clean data with now um, analyze and visualize data with R. By the way, this, prog uh, this particular course, um, the specialization course um, uses primarily R. So if you're thinking of using R in um, your data science um, future work, um, then you should consider this particular course. So um, it's, you know, by the end of this particular course, you will have developed skills in um, being able to um, clean data, being able to um, analyze data, visualize data, as well as being able to share that data with other data science stakeholders um, through um, um, Git, um, as well as GitHub. And you're also going to go through some modeling techniques such as regression analysis, clustering analysis, um, while still you know going through the entire course. Um, at the end of the course, you will get a certificate, which is also um, free, um, in, which is free in this case. You, you won't need to to pay anything, and um, you can get started right now, and you know, and 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 start learning. So my, you know, my, my thoughts on this particular course, it's, it's actually good for persons who are starting out, um, maybe coming from academia or, or um, uh, a statistician background where um, R would still be one of those tools that um, would help you perform a bit of some of the data science work that you're going to be doing. Um, the con, um, it's it, you know the, the the disadvantage is that it's quite a long course, which means that you will take um, um, you have to to ensure that you don't um, uh, uh, you, you try to motivate yourself. You try to look for ways that would ensure that you're always consistent in the learning process. Um, the other disadvantage about this course is that um, I realized there aren't any. Um, um, material there isn't any material on sql um, and that skill usually is data collection and as a data scientist it's an important skill that you need to learn um, especially while you're looking for data so that is something that i realized but it could be supplemented with um, some other external courses that um, would um, help you learn that particular skill all right so that's it that's the second course that i would um, recommend. Um, so the first one was Applied Data Science by Simply Learn. Um, the second course, um, that's that's the second course, um, um, number two course um, would be Data Science Specializations, uh, Specialization by jo John Hopkins um, University. All right, so the first, first, the one that I would recommend, um, the number one course that I would recommend that you go through would be the IBM Data Science Professional um, certificate on Coursera and this is of course it's a free program um, uh, it's a free um, data science course that you can undertake and it contains also um, other 10 sub courses um, with a focus on um, using the Python programming language if you've done some um, programming language um, um, courses before or, or even worked with you know any programming language then this course should feel a bit um, at home. The duration for this particular program, it's about three to six months, um, and it covers um, the core data science skills that you would require um, in your line of work. That's from data understanding, data collection, data exploration, data cleaning, um, data preparation to data modeling or data analysis, being able to create descriptive analysis reports. So I would say this is the sort of um, holy grail of you know um, the um, data science certifications that um, are quite well um, designed so this is one course that i would recommend at the end of the um, program there's of course uh, there's a um, certificate which is free you could also use it on linkedin even you know send it to employers when they ask for such um, but there's also a capstone project that allows you to um, put into practice what you have learned throughout the program. And yeah, so in terms of the con, it takes a lot of time, three to six months still is a lot of time, but you still also um, need to think of a way that allows you to, you know, be consistent in your um, learning process. 
Um, so yeah, so there you have it. Three courses. The first one, um, the first one that I mentioned, was the Applied Data Science course by FutureLearn. Two weeks course. I would recommend um, that course if you want just to have a taste of what data science entails. If 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 you know you think that that is actually a course that um, if you think if later you think that data science is something that um, would work out well for you, then you could now go to the number one option that had um, um, uh, that we've gone through, which is the IBM Data Science Professional Certificate um, on Coursera, and um, and and come up with um, other different kinds of strategies that um, you think would be helpful. Maybe getting an accountability partner, or um, getting um, a study group or you know um, getting someone a peer who you would be able to walk through or even just pay some sort of mentor who would keep you accountable and would be in a position to guide you during the learning process um something to note is that the you know um the how we arrived at these three courses was just majorly looking at um whether they covered the core skills when it comes to uh, when it pertains to becoming a data scientist those are data understanding data collection data exploration data cleaning um, data preparation and data analysis or modeling um, and it seemed as if you know um, those courses to an extent were able to cover that um, there are many other certifications which um, are vendor-led so in most cases you would have you know, I don't know, Microsoft certified or um, SAS certified, you know, certification or Google professional data science certification or Dell. Um, those ones are majorly also, um, um, you could still do them, but um, they usually uh, sort of put you in a bubble or they put you in a box where you use only tools that the vendors have created whether it's azure or google cloud or um or SaaS. um so in an in a way they may not necessarily help you build the core 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 skills that you would require as a data scientist um yes they're important they, you could do them if you wanted to further your um your um understanding in a particular ecosystem but i wouldn't recommend them because they may not necessarily cover the core skills um, when it pertains to becoming a data scientist all right so yeah so there you have it um, we will be talking more about other different kinds of um, strategies or tips um, pertaining to learning data science in the near future so if you are really interested in learning data science and getting started um, immediately or you know the soonest um, be sure to subscribe to this channel so that when we post other videos, you are informed and you get notifications. All right, so see you in the next one.